Oh, 
have to proclaim that Jesus is on his throne. Because there are so many things in our personal life, in the world right now, in the God, I don't know, every single thing that is going on, there are things that try to take the place of where Jesus is sitting. And when we have the perception that those things are sitting there, even though Jesus is still sitting there, we give those things authority in our life to take over. Whether that's wrong relationships, sickness, if it's disease, if it's, if it's poverty, we sometimes in our minds, we give those things authority to sit on the throne. But when you begin to sing that there is only one that should be seated there, and he is deserving of blessing and honor, he takes his rightful place and things begin to shift in the atmosphere. So this morning, whatever, it's a brand new song or what have you, but there is so much power when you proclaim that Jesus is sitting on his throne. So this morning, don't take it lightly because this is your life. And I don't have to live your life. And honestly, Jesus doesn't have to live your life. But when you live your life knowing that Jesus is an authority, then things will change. And you are not just a regular person going through poverty, going through day to day, paycheck to paycheck, or sickness and disease. But you have power and authority that is given through you, through Jesus. And so this morning, I, you came to church today like, oh, I'm going to have a good service. Great, I'm going to have good food after and take a great nap because we all love our Sunday naps. But this morning, I encourage you, and I'm going to tell you right now that God had a different purpose for you this morning. And you were waiting for someone to pray for you or for someone to talk to you, but all you needed was to utter that the Lamb is sitting on his throne. You don't need someone to pray for you. You don't need someone to lay their hands, although that's all good things. But there is power in the tongue. So this morning, as we sing this, I encourage you to see the things shift in your life. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain and seated on the throne. There is no one like the Lord. And the elders, creatures bow, giving praise to Him and Him alone. There is no one like the Lord, we crown you King of glory, we crown you King of glory, we crown you King of glory, we crown you Lord of all, we crown you, you are worthy, we crown you.
know that brings into your heart but the angels are crying hallelujah and then the next the next part says and all the earth that is us man the, the lord is inviting us to sing his praises with the angels that are ministering to the lord even right now amen so if you're able to okay only if you're able to would you stand up to your feet i would like to encourage you okay would you if you're able to stand up young and old men and women if you're able to can i just encourage you to raise your hands because the lord the god of holy the god of all the god who is almighty is right here I, I, I think our response should be just, just that out of reverence, right? So let's just give him a few minutes of our time, maybe just a few seconds. Just raise your hands up to the heaven and just give him the best reverence that you can give him. He deserves the reverence. All the angels cry out, holy God, and our response is, you are holy, you are holy. We give you reverence in this place, God. We give you reverence in this place. With our arms stretched out. Our hearts crying out to you. Holy, 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 holy. You are God. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity you've given to us. To join the angels singing. Holy, holy, holy to you. God, we value you. We honor you. We give you reverence in this place. And we say, once again, you are holy. Holy, 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 you are. Hallelujah. Can we sing that one more time? matter of fact you received something from that holy God that we are singing to amen so I encourage you every time you are in the church you have been given the, the gift of being here in this earth at this time at this season at this moment let's give it all to him who has given us all that we would ever need amen I encourage you instead of just sitting on your feet I understand if you are not able to but if you are able to, stand up and express the praise that He deserves from each and every one of us. Let us not be stingy in giving in the praise that He truly is worthy of. Amen? Can we shout hallelujah for maybe a minute? Can we do that? Okay, if you haven't done that in church, this is your chance. Okay? This is your chance. There's things that we need to do at the first, first time and it kind of breaks through what those norms that you have in your life amen so if you haven't done this okay i'm sure you've done this when you watch a football game or a game or something and 
your, your favorite team is, is, is winning or maybe your favorite team is not even winning but you're shouting. Amen. We know that we serve a God who always wins. Amen. So can we do that? Let's shout hallelujah. Okay. Hands up in the heaven. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Count of three. We're going to shout hallelujah. One, two, and three. Hallelujah. church today. Let's do that this morning. 